DeepSeek released a new update to their V3 model and it's called Terminus. And many people have speculated that this is probably their last update to this model because of the word Terminus, which is a Latin word that means end of the line. But with that said, in today's video, we'll take a closer look at this update and give it a few tests to see if it's worth your time and money. Now, they've only mentioned two things that were improved in this update. The first one is the language consistency. It means that it will less mix Chinese characters and English. And the second one is the agent upgrades. This is what we're all interested in. They said that the code agent is much stronger. Well, we'll see about that. Now, they said it is now available on their app slash web, but there's no way to see if the app is using the latest model. I've given a few tests already. The first one is I asked it to build a 3D tower defense game using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And the results were not really impressive at all. I literally mentioned 3D, but it never used the um, 3JS, and I don't think it understood the prompt. So, yeah, I don't know. Not only that, it was really slow. It took almost five minutes to finish the task. I'm not even gonna mention anything about the UI. I'm not really sure why it was this bad. I was assuming I'm using the wrong model or the old model, so I asked it, what is the name of the model that you're currently using? And sadly, it can't tell me. So after this, I'm just really confused and I wanted to see if this updated model is worth using. So I'm going to try it again, but this time here at Open Router. So you can go to openrouter.ai and search for DeepSeek and you can try it yourself. So we can just go to the chat and literally use the same prompt that I used in the previous video. And that's the build a web OS with vanilla HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, no frameworks. And the features are desktop with wallpaper, draggable, resizable windowed apps with focus, Z index, you know the drill. And this is what we are going to send. So let's just send it. Here we go. Okay, now it's done, but we got an error. Uncaught exception. Use window manager hook must be used within the following provider. We're just gonna fix it using the following. And as you can see, it took them, it took seven minutes to create this and it failed. So let's just try and fix it and see if it works. All right, here we go. We got the result. We can just full screen this so we can see everything. We have a nice looking background, just like what Codex did in the previous video. We have a taskbar. We have this menu or this app button here. We have a notification button. I don't know what's gonna do. We also have the time. I'm clicking it and it's not doing anything. What about the notification button? All right, we get notifications. That is interesting because in the previous video, Codex and Opus implemented the notifications differently. So it's pretty interesting that Dipsy created it this way. Let's see. So let's go to the apps. We have the following applications. We have notes, we have files, we have settings and terminal, just like what I ask. So we have notes. All right, okay. I can see that it is, okay, that was laggy. Oh, oh, that was, oh, look at that. That is bad. All right, you know what? I'll let it pass. Let's see if it's resizable. It is resizable, but yeah, it's laggy. I don't know what it's trying to do. All right, let me try and type. Hello world. There we go. It's saving. Now it's saved. This actually looked much better compared to what Codex did in the previous video. We have minimize button with an icon. That's pretty neat. We have maximize button. We have a close button. Let's try it. It minimized. What if I open this? It opened. Okay, let me just maximize this. Wow, with animation as well. That's pretty cool. And it changed the icon. And now if I close this and if I open the notes once again, I still have the content. All right, that's good. That was good. What about if I open another notes app? It opened. Okay, so it created another instance, but what happens if I change the content of this? Do you think it's going to update this as well? We'll see. All right. It didn't. What would happen if I close this and if I open another notes app? Oh, I hit right click and it closed the app. Okay, but it overwritten the previous content. That is fine. Let's move on to the next app and that's going to be the files. Interesting. Okay, 
we have an up button, we have new folder button, and we have the path. And we also have a hover effect. We have a rename here, we have a delete action. Okay, let me try and rename this. Oh wow. Okay, this is impressive. The fact that it replaced the text, the text component with an input, that is wild. This is good. Okay, let me just rename this to new. Oh, it did not save the name. Let me try it once again. No, it did not rename anything. If I double click, it opened the folder. And if I click the delete button, okay, delete functionality would remove item with an ID three. Interesting. <laughs> okay, click OK. It did not delete. What if I right click? Okay, I don't think it's gonna... It's just gonna reload the page. I'm not gonna press reload. What about the new folder? Okay, it's not working. That is okay. Let's move on to the settings. Here's the settings. We have theme, we have light, we have dark. Okay, now we turn it to a dark mode. We have reset. We have shortcuts. We have alt tab. This is not gonna work, obviously, because it can't replace the shortcut of the operating system. So if I press Alt-Tab, it's just going to open my OBS. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Okay, we have Escape button to close the current window. Okay, it's pretty good. What about Terminal? Interesting. Okay, so we have the Terminal. We can just type Help, and it says Echo Date Clear Calculator. Interesting. So let's do echo. Hello. Okay. I was expecting it to cause an error because I didn't close the quote. What about the date? Okay. It's good. So that is DeepSeek V3 Terminus, the latest and probably the last update for this version. Now, one last thing I'd like to mention is that you cannot use or upload images in this model. I tried to do my white and gold dress test and the image did not work. I tried the strawberry test though, and in that test, it did a pretty good job. Overall, it's still a pretty good model, especially when it's not that expensive, but what do you guys think? Is Dipsy something that you would use daily for your projects? Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed watching this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Weekly Health for more AI related videos. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.